1968. So there was a question You have the Nair Beis HaKnesses, page 168, Nair Beis HaKnesses. So the question is, because the, the candle of the shul is like consecrated, it's not really the candle you should, you should say Abdullah on. Because it was designated originally to illuminate the shul. So what, what, what does he suggest? You light a candle off that candle. So because that candle was burning from before Yom Kippur. So therefore, and he says that when you make Abdullah, you should use both. Because there's a question when you have a transfer of fire, factually, this fire is started to burn now. It's a new, that's the question. Or do we say since it originates from the original, from the fire from before, that's the equivalent of the original fire? So there, as a result of that, since the opinions are both sides of the equation, use both. Use the, the wick of the basic Knesset, the candle of basic Knesset, together with the, the transfer of fire onto the new candle, okay? It's just the reality. The sh a shul's candles is a special candle. <laughs> you'd say it's a bar mitzvah, why should we get? What difference does it make? It's one, it's another mitzvah. Okay, that's a separate question. Let's see. Yud Gimel. See, in what's his name? In Yud Beis. What's the reason you should have? He doesn't say because it's Hegdish. Yud Aleph. Al Neir Beis Haknesses Yud Aleph. Rotzlo Mishuhud Lak Bebojo. It was lit before Yom Kippur. V'dolak Beheter. Right. Every aspect of that fire is, was heter. There was no violation. Bahavi Leich Shavas Mamish. Literally, this this candle, this fire is burning from before Yom Tov. Nevertheless, some say you should not say Avdol on it. Why? Interesting. It's a different concept. Not because it's Hegdish. No, which means we're not to, this candle here is not to illuminate the shul. Out of respect for the shul, like you have an air tomid. Right? You have an air tomid, there's a continuous light burning in the shul. To indicate the shechin is always here. So it's not really for illumination. It's to honor the location to acknowledge that this is a special location. A dimly lit location, or you have more light than you need, it's to indicate this is a special location. So it wasn't for illumination. What we'd say, Borim Yoresh, Mutsoy Shabbos, or after the off the Yom Kippur, it's because it's fire. Fire which, which illuminates the value of fire. Here, this candle, when originally was lit, was not for that purpose. So because that has another function, therefore, it doesn't qualify for the candle say Bar Mareish would say Yom Kippur. That's what he's saying. That's this position. Vor Bisim Reish Alcheshim Vor Chen Al Zeh. Be the same thing. Seemingly be the same thing. Be the same thing. According to this opinion, be the same concept. No, 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 no. No, we don't. We usually hear. We no, we usually use. We do. So use both. That's what he suggests. V'day Rishona Svirlu Denasa Loyer V'odif L'havdil Azem L'havdil Nerachish Dolk Mimenu The other opinion says, no, you're right, it's out of respect. But what is the respect? To illuminate the location. Factually, it's illumination. Right? It's, it's respect. But factually, how do you offer this respect? By illuminating the location. Excuse me. But the other hand, transferring the fire. Since it's transferred, it's not the original fire. So that's, that's its defect. So what should he do? Use the, the, the candle of the shul. And the candle, we transfer the fire onto the new candle. Right, 
Dav Shosho Inas Gam Hi Rak Lechvod Hayom. He's talking about, let's say, the Nair Neshama. Usually we use the Nair Neshama, not not the Yard Said Light. Right? We said earlier that there's a, a, a Minog, we write, we write, light a candle for Neshama. Right? Because the Neshama is the equivalent of a, a, a fire, a candle, you light it. So again, it's not for illumination. So he says, even that candle at home, you should add another candle to it. And use both simultaneously. She had Yom Kippur He said she should light a candle specifically Erev Yom Kippur for the purpose to say Abdullah Motzoi Yom Kippur. Why? Was he getting involved in the same question? Let's see Nair Neshama. The Nair Neshama we light. What do you light it for? It's not for illumination. It's no different than the, the, the light in the in, in the base base of Knesset. It's out of respect. It's to commemorate or to establish. This represents my Neshama. So it's not. To, uh, to illuminate. It's not for illumination. It happens to illuminate. But that's not its purpose. So he says that the Derek Haim says that the Nesivis, Derek Haim is the Nesivis, he has a commentary on Siddur, that therefore you should write specifically for illuminate to be used, Motzei Yom Kippur. Yotzim Zel Chol And according to this, you're covering every position. Kevichu Menicho, Manicho Lechatchil Bishul Zeh. Because initially you're lighting it for that purpose, to be used for Bar Miresh after Yom Kippur. No, you know, one time a yardside candle was a, a gla- glass filled with wax to the top. Today you have these little tin cans. <coughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Could, be glass. Could be glass. Well, these little tiny ca- tin cans. It's about three inches high. The person says, it's another 25 cents. You know? You know? Why should I light another one, you know? When it comes to tip the bellboy at, at a hotel, take out a twenty dollar bill without any hesitation. Because those will reflect well on you. To light another candle to be Yotzi according to Derachachaim, but the remote says but you could do both. You know, light a match from it. You know something? Invest the other twenty five cents, be Yotzi Lucholadeus. Cover all basis. You that's what he says, you would not need. You would not need another candle. That's what he says, Yotzi Lucholadeus. Here you've covered all, you've covered all bases. Yeah, but here the question is not the candle; it's the, the origin of the fire. Correct, correct, correct. Correct, correct. But you have to have both involved. According to that, you have to have the light and have both together with the light that's been burning from before Yom Kippur. We have a problem. Transferred light is a fire. Is a question whether since it's a new fire. It's not the fire before Yom Kippur. Some say it is, because since its origin is that original fire, it's the equivalent of that. But the other hand, so use the original the candle that's burning before, but since the original candle was not lit for illumination, it was lit for some other reason, therefore, again, it doesn't suffice. Either, let's say, honor the neshama, honor the shul, but it's not for the sake of illumination. There are, there are enough lights in shul that people, this is an addition. Right, the Yisko candle. Do you light it for light? Right, to commemorate the Neshama. That's why you light the Yisko light. Again, because Neshama is near. Nishma Sodom. The Neshama of a person. Commemorative? purely out of respect. It's out of respect. That's the way you do it. Say Shabbos, we light, we light regular Motzei Yom Tov. Do you say Bar Mereish? No. no, but Motzei Yom Kippur, you do say Bar Mereish. Yeah, but okay, let's talk Motzei Shabbos and Motzei Yom Tov. Why Motzei Yom Tov don't you say? And Motzei Shabbos, you do say? No, 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 no. No, because fire was created in Motzei Shabbos. The first human fire that came into existence was Motzei Shabbos. Adam took two flints, rubbed them together, there was fire to commemorate that moment. But say Yom Tov, it's not that. You're not commemorating anything. Yom Kippur is a whole different concept. It's, it's not a commemoration. This is the first time I could benefit from fire. Yom Tov Ochel Nefesh is permitted. I could have fire throughout the day. I could use fire. Right? You cook, you bake, whatever you do with fire. 
you warm yourself by fire. After Yom Kippur. So therefore, it has to be to show that you observe the Yom Kippur properly. It's the fire from before Yom Kippur. It's called Ner Shishovas. This fire was from before. It's not afterwards. That's its value. No, see, he brought it earlier. He said, but he said, but he says, but he said, but he said, but the minig is even Yom Kishav is still. We have the, the original. Right. Why is it fire? Why is it the first round we can eat after Yom Kippur? Why is it fire? If fire really has no real importance as like Shabbos. 